Travis Campbell here of marketingprofessor.com with my uh, friend and special guest here, Darren Rose. Rose or Rouse? Rouse. Rouse. Yeah. Apologize. Darren Rouse from famedproblogger.net. And Darren, I want to just ask you a couple of quick questions. A lot of uh, my readers and just people in general on the net, they recognize the value of having a blog for many reasons. Uh, they agree with it, and then it's about getting started. You know, you've been doing this for a while. You talk to a lot of uh, bloggers out there. What are you finding are the common uh, sort of barriers for people to get started, and what would you advise people to, to overcome those, yeah. those barriers? Probably one of the biggest barriers is just the technology side of things and making a choice of which platform to use and whether to host it yourself or get, you know, host it on WordPress.com or whatever it might be. So that, that choice can be quite overwhelming. Um, look, I guess you, you want to start a blog. You don't want to get too, too into that. So one simple way to do it is to go with the WordPress.com, which you can then upgrade into your own domain later. Um, sometimes it's good to start on that sort of system just so that you get a taste for blogging and see whether it's right for you. And it can also help to shape you know, what niche you actually choose to write about. start that's the main thing and if you have already started on another domain um, you can still have a successful blog your platform doesn't determine the success of your blog it's your mm -hmm. content and the way you engage your readers so just so they're getting this you said wordpress.com yep. which is they they host it for you yep. it's it's quick and dirty you, yep. you get it done right away yep. wordpress.org is the ability to download and install yourself on your own domain that's with right. your own hosting yep. company right and you can always upgrade it from the .com to the .org later on if you choose to go there yeah. Very good. One of the other barriers I'd say is that um, many people are just, um, they don't feel like they've got anything to say or they don't feel that what they've got to say is smart enough or uh, funny enough or engaging enough. And the reality is that we've all got something to say and we've all got something that we're passionate about and people are more interested in your interest and your passion in something than how smart you are or how witty you are. Um, finding your voice takes time. So again, the key is to start and not be overwhelmed by the fact that people will be watching you or, or reading you, but just, just get going and, and find your voice. Excellent, any final words for folks? No, uh, uh, as I've said twice already, just get it, get doing it. So many people procrastinate and they put it off and they say, one day I'll do it, I should do it. Well, the reality is you're not gonna benefit from ha having a, a plan right. to do it, you're gonna benefit from doing it. Excellent. Great advice here, uh, speaking to you live from Las Vegas. We're actually at uh, Blog World Expo. And uh, again, my name is Travis Campbell of marketingprofessor.com with my guest here, Darren Rouse of problogger.net. And we'll look forward to speaking with you next time on the web.